Well, good evening, guys, and welcome back to another one. Uh, the fishing was so good the other day, I thought I'd come down and try it again. So, running out of daylight, got to make this quick. I'm just going to burn the spinnerbait around a little bit. And again, what I'm using is a 3 8 ounce black spinnerbait with a willow leaf blade tipped with a white twister tail. I'm now down at the creek. Let's see what happens. I'm going to switch over to the GoPro. Smacking this as soon as it's hitting the water. Oh, Jesus. How did I miss that guy? I gotta say, folks, the hits are pretty subtle. See all that structure on the other side of the creek there? That's about 30, 40 feet away. I'm trying to get this up in there. I reel it past some of the structure. Without getting hung up. Oh, that's a good... Oh my God, they're hitting it, but they're just not hanging on. There's another one. There we go. Finally. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, actually not as good as I thought. It's a little one pound bass. Still hungry. Water is still super clear, super clear. Oh, the hits just keep coming. I'm gonna slow it down even more. There we go. There we go. Come on. That's a little better. A little bit better. Not much, but a little. Back up in those logs.
Oh, right off the bat, as soon as it hit the water. As soon as it hit the water. Come on. Oh, he's trying to get me in the weeds. Go. Wow. I don't like some fall bass, eh? Fall bass. Love it. Love it. Like I've mentioned before, guys, it's about 30, 40 feet across here, four or five feet deep in the middle. But all the structure seems to be on the other side of the creek, and that is private property. So you're forced to cast all the way across into the structure. Oh, right off the bat again. Much bigger, much bigger. Wow. Look at the size of this guy. Pushing three. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Folks, with water this clear, you don't want to do what I did. I just marched right down here to the edge of the bank and started fishing. Reason being is, you don't know what's down here. I should have fished this from the top, then came down. Because if there was something here, it's gone. Beautiful fall night, no wind. The ducks and the geese are flying. I should be hunting ducks and geese right now is what I should be doing, but. The bite's been on, so I didn't want to miss it. Still got plenty of time to hunt the ducks and the geese. Trying to run out of some daylight here. That's it, then we move. All right, one more. Fisherman's famous last words, one more. And there he is. Oh. Again, as soon as it hit the water. Come on now, come on. Here we go, here we go. We are just knocking them down today. Oh, looky there. Awesome. So yeah, you know it's one more in the same spot, right? I haven't really thrown anything else down here. Or anything for that matter in my area, I haven't thrown anything else. Spinnerbait wise.
All right, guys, well, that's gonna be it. We have officially run out of daylight. Not bad for 30 minutes of fishing. I just thought, well, you know what? Let's just run down to the creek and see what's happening. Anyway, as you can see, it's dark. I'm using my phone for a light here. That's going to be it. I hope you enjoyed it. A little more fall bass fishing. I might try and get out again. The weather's not too bad. Water's cold, but the uh, air temp's tolerable for just a hoodie. Anyway, and that's all I got for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Be safe. Get out and enjoy the outdoors. I'll see you all in the next one. Later.